And just getting back to the irregular channel, did anyone else express any concerns to you about this so-called irregular channel? I'm not sure how someone could characterize something as an irregular channel when you're talking to the President of the United States, the Secretary of State, the National Security Advisor, the Chief of Staff of the White House, the Secretary of Energy. I don't know how that's irregular. If a bunch of uh, folks that are not in that channel are aggrieved for some reason for not being included, I don't know how they can consider us to be the irregular channel and they to be the regular channel when it's the leadership that makes the decisions. Okay, we had, uh, I think, tried to count them up. There's a 215 or something text messages between you, um, Volker, and Ambassador Taylor, um, you know, during the the um, early August time frame. Does that, does that make sense to you? Is that... Yeah, I think, he's, I think Taylor started in late June or early July was when he first took post, and I think we began communicating fairly shortly thereafter. Okay, and he, he never communicated any concerns uh, to you during this time frame that, that he, he had issues with what was going on? What do you mean by what was going on? This um, re request for some sort of investigation. Not in the early stages. He, you know, as, his, as, as time went on, his emails began to be a little more pointed and frantic. Uh, and that's when we had very li right. little visibility as to what was going on either. I think it had to do more with the aid and as to why the aid was suspended. Right. And, and ultimately, you um, put a period on that issue by having the September 9th communication with the president, correct? That's correct. And when you shared that feedback with Ambassador Taylor, was, was he satisfied that this issue is now behind him? I don't really know because he responded when I said, you know, get a hold of the secretary. Uh, he said, I agree, and I never knew, knew whether he reached out to the secretary or not. Okay. That was sort of the end of that. At one point in your text, you said, let's get on the phone, right? And you said you're a, uh, an individual that doesn't <laughs> like to walk through these issues on text when you can talk about it on the telephone, correct? I say that to everybody when something becomes more substantive than just a few lines of text. I say, let's talk. Okay. And did you talk with Ambassador Taylor? I, I don't recall. Okay. I mean, I don't recall whether we spoke right after that, whether he called the secretary. I, I basically, Mr. Castor wanted to get the notion across that I've gone as far as I can go with this. You, you need to pick up the ball. You're the ambassador. You need to pick up the ball and run with it at this point. Okay. Um... And just getting back to the irregular channel, did anyone else express any concerns to you about this so-called irregular channel? I'm not sure how someone could characterize something as an irregular channel when you're talking to the President of the United States, the Secretary of State, the National Security Advisor, the Chief of Staff of the White House, the Secretary of Energy. I don't know how that's irregular. If a bunch of uh, folks that are not in that channel are aggrieved for some reason for not being included, I don't know how they can consider us to be the irregular channel and they to be the regular channel when it's the leadership that makes the decisions.